Are you struggling with growing your hair due to hair fall or breakage? Well, I'm going to show you how to make this fast hair growth spray. If you are like me who spends a lot of time watching natural hair content online, you might have seen this clove water spray. I've been seeing a lot of positive comments on it. I ran as fast as my legs could carry me to the local market. Make I see the couple you get. This video is inspired by Aliyah. She asked for my thoughts on clove water and I decided to do my research and not just read on it but also use it on my hair. So whatever I say in this video is going to be based not only on what I've read but also from my experience of using clove water. What you're seeing right here are the flower buds from the clove tree. It is a sweet aromatic spice used in food and drinks. If you're Nigerian and you know Zobo or Kunu, clove is also used in those drinks. In our site, it is called Kananfuri. So I boiled a tablespoon of clove in two cups of water about two cups of water i allowed that to boil for about 20 minutes the usage of clove is not really a new thing it has been used for hundreds of years in food drinks traditional medicine and also ayurveda medicine i'm going to have some of the articles on clove linked in the description box as with most hair treatments you have to apply it on clean hair and clove water is not an exception it is very important that you apply Apply your clove water on clean hair and scalp so that it can be effective. This can be compared to how you apply your skincare product. You do not just apply your moisturizer or your sunscreen on dirty skin. You ensure that you cleanse your skin before you begin to layer those products so that they can be effective. So I'm going to wash my scalp. I concentrate on my scalp first before I loosen my twist. Then I concentrate on the length of my hair. This is to ensure that my hair is clean my scalp is clean so that when i apply the clove water there's no barrier from the product that i've used in the past like my hair is just clean fresh and ready to absorb all of the good nutrients from the clove i will advise that you use a moisturizing deep conditioner just like i did here because clove has strengthening properties and that might be a recipe for disaster if you decide to use clove water and a strengthening deep conditioner so please do use a moisturizing deep conditioner when you wash your hair allow the clove water to cool down before you use it please do not use it while it is boiling hot okay clove is a great antioxidant it also has antimicrobial properties this means that it is able to stop the growth of microorganisms such as bacterial and fungal and this is why it is good for dandruff because the major culprit for most scalp conditions are mostly bacteria and fungi i transferred the clove water into my spray bottle some people that i have seen they use the clove water as a rinse and personally i think that is kind of wasteful i prefer to use the clove water from my spray bottle so that i can control the amount that i use on my hair now it is advisable that you do a patch test to see if you are allergic to clove but for me i'm not because i've had it in drinks the goal for me at the end of this experiment is to improve the thickness of this pot right here I do not think it is that bad considering the fact that the space from my hairline to my eyebrow is not that much. But it is the one spot on my hair where I feel if there is any major improvement, I will be able to notice. When I returned natural, that spot was bald. It was smooth as a baby's skin. If someone had told me that hair would grow from that spot again in this life, I would not have believed that person. I would have called that person a liar. But there has been improvements since when I returned natural. 
I experienced that balding in 2016, 2016. I had my hair done by a stylist. I had feeding braids or what we normally call Ghana braids here in Nigeria. It was a center part and all of the braids were pulling from that spot. So I'm using this growth elixir from a brand called Shahi Organics. This growth oil contains amla, neem, garlic, henna and all good helps for your hair honestly so i'm using this elixir with the clove water for maximum growth <laughs> so what i do is to spray my hair with the clove water i make sure that every strand of hair is saturated with the clove water after which i apply a generous amount of the growth elixir from shine organics i'm going to have it linked in the description box something i noticed after i applied the clove water on my hair is that it feels like a tea spray there was one time that using black tea spray or green tea spray was a thing i think that was when i returned natural between 2018 and 2019 that period it was very common for a lot of people to use tea spray to strengthen their hair and it feels just like that if i was not the one who made the clove water and i was asked to guess what it was i would have guessed it was a tea spray except for the fact that clove has a distinct smell and some people do not find that bearable but for me it is okay i actually find it really nice i like inhaling the smell from the clove water one thing i liked about the clove water is that you immediately feel your hair being strengthened and this is just from the um feel of your hair that is why it is advisable that you do not use a strengthening deep conditioner and also you do not use the clove water frequently most people that have seen use it they use it twice weekly at most so please do not use the clove water frequently because your hair can become brittle and it can break easily this is one of my concerns when it comes to using diy products is the fact that there is no standard measurement like i would say use it twice weekly but then how do you measure the quantity that you would use that would be enough for your hair and not make your hair dry it is why i don't do a lot of diys but with the clove water i think i think i would be willing to try it for a couple of weeks or even months because as with most products there is no product that can give you instant growth and even when you are using clove water to improve the thickness of your hair or for growth using it once or even for a week is not going to have um, a great effect on your hair so you would have to use it over a period of time to see if there will be major changes or major improvement when it comes to your hair so i'll be willing to try it and i would record all of that process and i will share um, my results with you so clove is known to have what is called eugenol and this helps to promote hair growth and my question is if this is in clove and it promotes hair growth what is the quantity that we have in clove and how much clove buds clove flowers clove um, leaves should we use to get enough that will help us to improve our hair growth well i did not see any academic research on that so uh, i don't know about that <laughs> and another question i have is would there be a significant difference when you use clove on your hair for over a period of time compared to when you just take care of your hair by washing your hair with normal shampoo and conditioner over the same period of time because a lot of people have said that they noticed um that an improvement in their hair when they use clove maybe for six months or a year so how do we know that clove has a higher success rate when it comes to growing your hair compared to when you just use normal conditioner and normal normal shampoos on your hair so that's like that's a major question for me and i think subsequently i'm going to measure the length of my hair and and see if there's a significant difference between using clove and um using normal products on my hair turn on your post notification because there will be updates on me using clove water on my hair and i'll also try to use clove oil because i saw some people using clove oil so i'll be trying both um forms of using clove on my hair to see if there's any significant difference as much as i have so many questions in regards to using clove water for 
hair growth this is not a dangerous hair care practice compared to people who have used bug spray and some really dangerous chemicals on their hair for hair growth and all of that this is not dangerous at all a lot of people have been using ayurveda medicine ayurveda herbs and all for hair care this is not new i have someone i follow on instagram from a to four z or is it from four a to z i keep messing up her instagram and i'm going to have her linked in the description box she uses solely ayurveda herbs for her hair care and there is no much difference when you compare a hair to people who use store-bought products for their hair care so generally using clothes for your hair is not a dangerous um practice but then again those questions that i raised i would like to see um a study on it i decided to put my hair in braids just like the chadians do we use chebe and i'll see you guys in my next video